Here I am at the Terminal 3 car park at the airport going to Munich. So that's where I park my car. So this part is actually when you pass through the after you've done the check-ins and uh, security and all that you can pass through these shops where you can buy duty-free stuff to go to the flight or to the gates very soon so i'm roaming around in the airport manchester airport duty-free area you can see the plane is there ready for board just waiting and now we are approaching Munich it's now ready to land I just recorded a few bits so you know you can see the view how nice view it has it's just the sky before was like full but later on as, as we went down start to it start to clear out a little bit so that's why it was looking nice so it was a beautiful view actually as you can see from the video love the view when I'm traveling I actually like looking outside the flight like to have the window seat and able to see what's actually going on outside it was just amazing always amazing we are approaching the runway to land and touchdown <laughs> so this is the Munich airport I was trying to record as much as possible um to show you all how actually the munich airport looks like i kind of quite liked the um, munich airport uh, because the way it's been designed the way um the layout was so it was pretty good um the layout was like basically you could while you are walking out like towards getting your bags and stuff um you could actually have the full view of the planes that's um boarding so it's like if you like enjoying flights like look just checking out the flights then that, that was really good so I think this one I was like walking down the duty free towards the exit point immigration and then I came across this one the view was amazing so basically you have to get down from here you'll have the full view and then you go to the I think the ground floor and from there i think there is a train that goes to the exit point but it's also always depends on which terminal you landed or you know what um, and then where the exit points are I initially like i was really like kind of confused of where to go like you can't speak the language sometimes you just don't know where you're going so i found the train in there too Towards the exit point. This is now I'm heading towards the exit point and out, and suddenly on the again to go up. The best part of this, all of that, I liked was the view of the airport. Um, all the flights were there. It was nice. Now I'm heading to catch the bus to Munich city center. That's where 
my uh, hotel was it was kind of I didn't felt it like it was too complicated it was quite straightforward really so I come out of the airport gone there and then there was a bus standing I goes to him are you going to Munich city center Munich town city center he says yeah he's going to Munich city center town so he says 10 pound 10 uh, sorry 10 euro I said okay we'll go for that it was still cheaper I think it's a pretty good link between the Munich city center and uh, and the airport I'll I'll show you on the later on in the video you will see so I'm heading towards Munich I've taken as much little um, clips as possible to show you guys how it's actually like to go on a bus from Munich airport to the Munich city center it was nice I mean didn't actually take right into the center but about three three kilometers from the center where the uh, bus was stopped so I've done as much little, little videos I think this is when I was come out of the bus and then I was walking down um, city center and I've seen all this and that's where I've recorded as many little videos as possible you can see um, the best part of Munich was uh, this the buildings actually it's just very old buildings in a great condition the design of it the how it looked is just like you are there in a movie it's like the texture the colors the the view of the buildings was just amazing actually really enjoyed all part of it it was really nice you can see how nice it is and then uh, was when i was walking down the street um, the Christmas stuff was getting ready. I think uh, the Christmas, if I would be like one, two days later been there, Munich, then I could have been able to attend the Munich uh, Christmas market. But I think I was like a couple of days early. But it's fine. I still enjoyed it. This seems to this be is the actually Christmas a market beer. Is on and uh, this is a beer. Like a pub where you can, you know. The beer, beer restaurant for the Christmas and you know chill out with your friends people there is very nice actually very respective and uh, they want to help but again the language is the barrier so if you know a little bit of um, German some words then actually that will help a lot I'm, I'm trying to learn a little bit of German because I kind of liked it, uh, like the place. One thing was there was there's few constructions going on in the city center, so maybe in next one or two years you you'll see a lot more good view. Um, still, it was a good view, but when there is some things going on, this is what happens. This is when I was eating my lunch as i'm very like fuss with the food so i have to have the very specific food that i can eat <laughs> not many uh, other foods up there so this is like um, you can buy some stuff from there like something to take away as a as a gift and things so that was a gift shop visited it's quite a lot of stuff was there more like very Christmassy this is great I've also on this same road I was actually um, seeing some people like older people they are on their like um, army clothes and then they're walking around the town it was quite nice 
these are the soaps. So I've tried to sow as much view as possible. The thing is, I don't actually know each street place that I could explain, but this is all in the city center. So if you go in the city center, you will see all these things there. Like, I think these are very expensive shops where uh, rich people from Munich goes there to buy the these stuffs night out stuffs this one is I think one building state building probably very old building well, look at the how they kept it pretty nice I think this one is a church in the middle of the city center it was nice but to be honest at night it was busy very busy like <laughs> there was not even a, a good enough space to walk that was you've just seen was the view from my um, from my room and this is actually is the entrance to the um, this um, this park uh, there is some park from 1914 it's like uh, it says made by british i think i need to double check on that but yeah there's some views of the park and this one is i think the old town passing through the old town some more views will be coming in nice bakery shop there and this one i don't actually know this one is the view from the hotel window it's trying to record the streets so you can see what exactly around which i've done and then what's the this is okay this is just when i was walking past i've just seen something to record so i've just recorded that uh, and then I was going past this more the views of the the street of Munich how the houses are like uh, it's I would say in in most of the like majority of the bigger cities like the main town will be something like that there are some similar towns uh, it's even in london you'll see like but in london the buildings are really really high this was entrance to the park so from from here from this point i think we've got more um views on the park side it was pretty nice how they have arranged everything for the park was nice it was pretty clear the view was nice it was cold though <laughs> um, I felt cold but I enjoyed that was the the main part enjoying the the moment in there which I did it was lovely some animal some ducks <laughs> and then uh, just enjoy the dogs. I sat there for a bit just to see what, what's his next steps. Okay, so it's called actually English Garden. Um, there was a reason for it. I think it's to do with during the World War time. I think the British built it or they did 
war from here. I don't know. <laughs> Needs to look into that. This is, I think, uh, is the, is like a landmark that everybody is going there. So it's pretty good for people who who likes to walk, but and then they could just go to the top and then come back. So they've got like kind of okay, they will get there walking and then come back to the hotel or house or wherever they stay. It was nice, relaxing. Let's see where it's gonna be my next trip. Um, I kind of nowadays enjoying traveling, but it's all about the time really. Time is the most important factor. Making decisions on where, uh, where you're going. It's nice. I've done a little bit of video on that. You can see the colorful design. Now, I'm heading back to the town because I think from here I wanted to go to the old town. Look at this lady, I love that one. <laughs> really, they're carrying uh, babies in there and you know, take them for a walk or go some places. This one, maybe the, their parliament building or some administration building, something to do with that. There you go, it says on there. I've, I've got the photo of that, so I've, I've attached that so you could see what actually it was. More close up views of the building. The office. So it's, it's, it's in two languages, German as well as in uh, English. So it was quite easy to read. That's why I only got the the English part so you can read but you have to pause it I like the this area here is you will see is actually it's in the middle and all around is like um, lots of houses so it's not it's, this is like a closed garden or I would say a park maybe in older generation like before that's how they used to have a garden like but all around here is all closed up so it's not like there is a, a gap or anything you know this is where which the photo I was showing earlier the video that I was heading to quite nice design for this <laughs> was quite nice pretty nice beautiful now um, it's okay but I could have shown that a bit later I think the videos has been moved around here and there a bit it was was when I come out of that but I'll show you it will show up So here I go. These are the I think the history of Munich. What had happened there, especially on those houses, you know, like what's been going on and things. It's pretty good. let you silently watch that watch that because it's nice to just see on the picture what you could see and probably 
you might know about it so but it is old very old here I am and this wood coming out of there it looked bright and lots of houses lots of buildings lots of like old traditional building of Munich was there of Germany that's why I was like Ooh, when I just come out and seen that was beautiful look at that bold a lot of people taking photos this was actually early in the morning I think the time was uh, Eight, nine o'clock, something like that. This is also one of the historian building, historic building. You can see the how they have made this sculpture, like all this statue and all this design. It's actually pretty cool. This one is a Christmas market in between these houses set up, but I think it wasn't ready because I was two days early there. But everywhere is same. Every corner is same. That's why it looked like that. This one was same so it's i think this place is called old town and everything in there is like um you can take a ticket and go and view it the um the royal houses and stuff this was just a little silly video when i was sitting in the hotel in the like living area living room area where like guest area and then you can see they have a, they have this massive fish tank looked great oh, this is all, I think the old town no this one is now I have shown at night but this that one was during day says few food places so if you Wanna have a bite and have your morning breakfast? You can go around here, it was busy, but there was a lot of choices, but not for me. <laughs> I need like naan, rice, chicken, vegetables. <laughs> so bread is I don't like bread that much. But here you will see all these looked very like very nice like if you like just want to buy and have a bite of it shop was busy this one the view of the church design of it was nice these are the shops like in a row main like this kind it's, it's the town right in the middle of the town that one was oh, closer view of the church 
Yeah, it was about the time I had to leave for the airport. I'm back to the place. It was, I came here because I was looking for the train which will go to the Munich airport. There I am. Underground metro. The links are very good. That's a sleeper train. The view from the train. This is the time I was ready to go back to the Munich airport. It was, I think, the Munich airport from the Munich city center was about 45 minutes on a 45 minutes to an hour, I think 45 minutes from the city center. So actually what you can do is rather than catching a bus from, from there, you should look for a metro and then from there, there is a direct metro from the airport is coming to the right, the middle of city center. So you could be out in the city center, right in the middle. When I was passing by, bec while I was there, I didn't actually get chance to like look at the houses, you know, how the houses are in Munich. So when I was passing by on a train, I was trying to record a video as much clear as possible just to view the design of the houses it's some of the houses I would say similar to what we have in England some of them are different well here I am at the airport the best part of getting to the airport was when we were passing by when, and there was a Christmas market. So really, I did not miss a Christmas market in Munich because they have a Christmas market right within the airport, inside the airport. So really, you can enjoy everything. It was rammed. Many people. <laughs> So many people. So uh, it was great. So I gone around, and you know there was music going on. And here is the Santa. Hey Santa, give a hi here. Well, that was it. Uh, I think this one was just departed from Munich Airport. I think by that time I was really tired, so not much video, but uh, I'm sure um, within that video you've seen everything and hopefully I have given as much information as possible to view it. <laughs> okay, so there's the flight and here I landed and ready to get out. All of you. Hope you've enjoyed the video. We'll make some more when I'm traveling. Thank you.